Dream grew up in a large village spanning hundreds of blocks across the world of Minecraft. He was raised by his father in this town. Growing up, Dream was no different to his peers, except there was one thing that Dream didn't know about himself. You see, Dream's father was ex-military who was chosen to lead the village in his later years. The one reason Dream's father was chosen for this role was due to his incredible abilities. Dream's father had increased strength, advanced agility, and extreme intelligence compared to his peers. He didn't understand why this was the case, but it turned out his son had these abilities also. He just didn't know it yet. In Dream's late teen years, there was a rumor spreading fast throughout the village. Someone had been told the terrifying Ender Dragon had been reawakened and was charging its power in order to take over the world. This caused major panic across the village as Dream's father was forced to make a decision. There was no evidence to prove this fact, but he understood the devastating impact the Ender Dragon could have on our world. So he began to pack his bags and attempt to stop the Ender Dragon before it can do harm. But before he left, he looked into his son's eyes and knew it was time to tell him the truth. He understood he couldn't complete this mission by himself as he needed backup. So he sat Dream down as he told him about the secret abilities and how to activate them. Dream was shocked to hear this, but was motivated to save the world from the Ender Dragon. So the two got to work, as Dream's dad trained him in every aspect possible. Dream learned how to fight, Parker, and even memorized every advantage he could possibly have in battle. After an entire month, Dream told his father he was ready. So the two got their things together, but as they were about to begin their journey, an arrow was shot directly into the back of Dream's dad's head, killing him instantly. In a quick moment, Dream managed to catch a glimpse of the attacker as he saw a white headband swinging in the wind as he or she made their escape. Dream then looked down to his father's lifeless body as he shouted in pure vain. This hurt Dream as his father was the only family he had left. The next day, Dream was thinking over and over again about the attack until it clicked. It must have had something to do with the mission they were about to embark on. In his rage, Dream began to storm out the village to avenge his father's death until he heard a call. One of the villagers requested Dream take this damaged book as it detailed everything he needed to know in order to reach the Ender Dragon. Dream grabbed the book as he began his journey solo. The first thing the book states is, you must make your way to a new dimension, something called the Nether. It says, you must locate a black, broken portal sitting atop a large snowy mountain. It instantly clicked with Dream where this must be. Growing up, there was a rumor that you must never attempt to climb the famous Elsa Mountain as it will lead to certain death. Dream knew this must be the location as he headed directly for it. After hours of traversing through various biomes, Dream reached the base of the mountain, but as he was about to begin the climb, Dream was suddenly ambushed by an attacker as the two went into battle. After exchanging hits with their weapons, Dream's anger and drive to save the world was enough to stop the attacker as he swung an axe directly into his knee. With the attacker down, Dream forced him to talk. The attacker explained that he was artificially formed in a lab by scientists with one goal in mind, to fight. He explained that he was ordered by an unknown individual to stop anybody from reaching the Ender Dragon. Dream could really sense the attacker was only doing as told and had no choice in the matter. With Dream's good heart, he made a deal with the hunter. If Dream lets him go, he must run far away from the evil that made him and live out a peaceful life. He agreed to the terms as he thanked Dream for sparing his life. The two went their separate ways as Dream now understood he was in serious danger. 
Nevertheless, Dream climbed the scary-looking mountain as he eventually made his way to the top. And there it was, the black broken portal the book stated he must find. And next to the portal was an abandoned chest with a flint and steel inside. Dream figured he had to activate the portal somehow as he attempted to use the flint and steel, which created a fiery spark. And then it happened. A dark, purple, eerie portal opened up as it called out Dream's name. Most people would end their journey there due to the danger ahead, but Dream said no as he stepped directly into the portal with absolutely no fear. Immediately upon entering the strange dimension they call the Nether, Dream felt the intense heat hit his skin as he was surrounded by boiling hot lava. Dream instantly opens up the old damaged book, which states, Acquire a hot blazing rod located deep inside the walls of a gigantic fortress. With purely this information to work off of, Dream begins to wander through various biomes of the nether. After seeing some truly strange creatures on his journey, he spots a large red structure in the distance. Dream immediately realizes this must be the gigantic fortress mentioned in the book. So after careful maneuvering, he enters the abandoned fortress. The structure was strangely quiet as he felt chills coming off his body, like something wasn't quite right. He ignored it though, as he slowly made his way through the fortress. In a literal second, Dream saw a large hot ball heading directly for his face as he blocked the attack with his shield. Dream then looked over to see an angry yellow creature heading towards him as it hurled even more fireballs at his face. Dream understood he had to defeat the foe, so with the skills he had acquired, he engaged in battle. With careful use of his axe and shield, Dream defeated the odd-looking creature as it dropped an item upon its death. It was the blaze rod the book mentioned earlier, as Dream had it sitting in his hands. However, in the middle of Dream's celebration, he had a funny feeling something wasn't right. In a quick motion, Dream turned around as he blocked a sword hit with his shield. Dream had been ambushed by two hunters looking to end his life. Dream immediately began his escape as he used his incredible agility to out-parker the attackers. Eventually, Dream reaches the end of the fortress as he sees a man blocking his path. Dream turns back but is shocked to see the other two hunters had cornered Dream. The new attacker blocking Dream's exit said the words, It is over now. Dream noticed it was the same white headband man that was at the scene of his father's death. Dream's eyes now only saw red as the anger of his dad's death filled his blood. Dream immediately charged at the attacker with his axe as he knocked the man into a hot pit of lava. Dream turns to the other two hunters as they begin an intense battle. After exchanging strong hits, Dream makes his way to the high ground as the hunters blindly follow him. Within half a second, Dream whipped out a fishing rod as he attaches it to one of the hunters. With one big swing, Dream pulls the attacker directly into a large cavern as Dream hears his body smack the floor. Dream then attempts to finish off the last hunter, but he suddenly takes a hit to his right arm, which causes him to retreat. Dream eventually reaches a cliff with nothing but lava below. As the attack quickly approaches, Dream is forced to jump as he prays for God to save him. As he falls to certain death, he spots a strange red creature walking upon the hot lava. In an attempt to save his life, Dream manages to land on the creature's back. He then whips out his axe as he expects the creature to fight back, but instead it just looks at him with a goofy smile. The creature walks away from the scene as Dream had a moment to breathe. With three hunters down, Dream figured it had to be the end of the attacks as the creature brings Dream to land. The two go their separate ways as Dream whips out his book to read his next task. The book states, Barter inside the piglin's home. Receive a green orb for trading gold. The book also had a rough sketch of what the piglin's home looked like as Dream began his journey 
to look for it. After a painful amount of hours, Dream noticed something strange poking outside a wall. It was a cold black brick. Dream looked back to the sketch and realized this was a part of the piglin's home. Dream got to work as he began mining his way through the wall until he took a large, unexpected fall. After getting his senses back, Dream realized he was surrounded by several angry-looking men holding golden swords. Dream realized he wasn't welcome inside their home as he made his escape. Whilst passing by the entrance, Dream quickly read a sign which states, you must wear gold inside the bastion. If not, you will be severely punished. Dream remembered he must acquire the green orb the book mentioned as he spots a stack of gold blocks sitting upon a bridge. Dream makes his way to the gold as he steals a single block. With the angry man approaching fast, Dream throws down his crafting table as he made golden boots. Then all of a sudden, everything went silent. It turns out the men weren't aggressive anymore and were even welcoming of Dream. He quickly explained that he came here to barter for a green orb. The men explained that he must give them a single piece of gold for a 4.78% chance of receiving the orb they called an Ender Pearl. Dream looked down at his hands as he only had five pieces remaining from the gold block earlier. He got to trade it as he didn't receive the Ender Pearl in the first trade, so he gave them another piece of gold as he didn't receive it again. The same story happened with a third and fourth piece of gold until it was down to the last piece. With only a 4.78% chance, Dream successfully received the Ender Pearl needed to reach the Ender Dragon. But as soon as Dream received the pearl, a fishing rod appeared as the pearl was stolen right from Dream. It was another hunter this time, wearing a red and black robe. Dream immediately chased after the attacker, as Dream desperately needed the Ender Pearl back. After what felt like hours, Dream realized the hunter was headed directly towards the original portal. However, with one risky jump, Dream cut off the attacker as he put an axe to his neck. Dream began demanding answers again, similar to the first incident. This time, the hunter explained that he was offered a large amount of money to stop Dream and his father by any means necessary. The attacker also told Dream that the person who hired him was known to be a very evil man whose identity was completely unknown. After receiving the pearl back, the two went through the portal as Dream called in law enforcement to arrest the man. With little time to waste, Dream whipped out his book to see how close he was to reaching the Ender Dragon. The book stated, combine both the Blazing Rod and Green Orb to form an Eye of Ender. Use this to locate the Ender Dragon. So Dream got to work as he put both the Blaze Rod and the Ender Pearl together, which created the beautiful Eye of Ender. But as soon as Dream held the new item, he had a sudden urge to throw it in the air, so he did just that. It then swooped right behind him, as it was clearly indicating the Ender Dragon was in that direction. Dream then followed the Eye of Ender in order to finish the mission his dad started. He eventually reached the ocean as he rowed a boat into the deep, dark blue. Not too long after, Dream spotted a strange-looking structure under the sea. Eye of Ender suddenly shot out of his hand as it headed directly towards the structure. Dream understood this must be the location of the Ender Dragon, so he swam his way down. Dream soon mined his way through with his pickaxe as he entered the large structure. Dream noticed that it was oddly cold and quiet. He started searching every room possible, looking for any useful clues. Dream soon finds an abandoned chest as he is happy to see an old iron bucket, perfect for carrying water, and another rare ender pearl as he quickly stores them away. Directly after this, Dream is suddenly shot at with a bow and arrow. It was the same hunter from earlier who forced Dream to jump onto the red creature's back. With his drive to succeed, Dream ignores the arrow wound as he engages in battle 
After exchanging equal hits, Dream decides to retreat to get some space. He soon turns a corner as he spots a very bright room up ahead. The closer he gets, the more the temperature of the hallway rises. Eventually, he reaches the room as he spots Lava just sitting there, waiting to be used. Dream connects the dots and realizes he can use the bucket he just found to pick up the lava. So he does just that as the hunter gets closer and closer. However, Dream just stands there, looking directly into the attacker's eyes. As the hunter goes to attack, Dream throws the hot lava into his path as he begins to burn to death. Within seconds, the attack was over, as all Dream had to do now was take down the Ender Dragon as he slowly began to walk up the stairs inside the room. And there it was, a portal with eleven Eye of Enders placed directly inside it. It turned out Dream had the final Eye of Ender needed to activate the portal. Before he placed it down, Dream looked back on his journey as he hoped he made his dad proud. The portal was now activated as Dream hopped right into the dark void. After landing on Cold Hard Obsidian, Dream looked in all directions as there was nothing but darkness surrounding him, except he did spot a large, almost white island up ahead, so he safely made his way over the endless void below him. Dream looked up to the island as he saw hundreds of tall black creatures just standing there. Dream then remembered back to his training when his dad mentioned he would encounter dangerous creatures called Endermen. The key to avoiding them is to not look directly into their eyes. So Dream hopped onto the strange island as he noticed there were several tall black pillars standing really high in the sky. But before he could admire them, he heard the scream of the Ender Dragon headed directly towards him. With pure instinct, Dream dodged the attack as he whipped out his bow, shooting the beast in the process. After hitting a couple shots, Dream spotted a strange white beam tracking the Ender Dragon. Dream then spotted purple crystals sitting at the top of the towers that were healing the dragon. Dream understood he had to destroy the crystals, otherwise the dragon would never die. So Dream got to work shooting the crystals with his bow and climbing the towers in order to physically take them down. After taking down every single crystal, it was time to kill the Ender Dragon. But just as Dream went to pull back his bow, he heard somebody shouting. The voice said, You think you can kill me that easily, Dream? He looked behind him as the man with the white headband was charging at Dream. The two went into an all-out aggressive fight. It was clear somebody wasn't leaving the battle alive that day. Eventually, the final hunter manages to break Dream's shield as he puts a sword directly into Dream's knee. Dream was forced to the ground as the attacker towered over him. The angry man began to say, this was supposed to be a clean and easy job, but no, you just had to make it hard for us. Now, I am going to be the last person you will ever see. As the man began to pull back his sword, Dream realized he had to do something. With all his skills combined, Dream pulled out the Ender Pearl he found earlier as he teleported behind him, putting an axe into the back of his father's murderer's head. It was over. Dream had avenged his father, as it was now time to kill the Ender Dragon. After careful use of his axe and bow, Dream successfully defeated the Ender Dragon. A brand new portal opened up in the middle of the island, which would allow Dream to make his way back to the overworld. But before he hopped in, Dream had a large smile come upon his face as he utters the words, I won. This has been the untold story of the Legend of Dream.